okay in this video i'm going to show you how to use uh, for loop container for loop container this video and i will show you how to but why would you like to use it there are many circumstances in this circumstance i am going to delete the data by using the for for loop counter why would you use that thing the thing is that if the data rows are too much you cannot delete it by one stretch you know it will fill the transaction lock so you have to do partly by partly and i'm going to show you how to do it just you, you can see this is the data though this data can or they are not many rows there are just 830 rows but however 830 rows but however if there are a million rows or half a million row it would become a problem if you try to delete them at a stretch then you will get the transaction log get filled so that's what you do not want to thing to happen so i will show you how to do it okay let's i have a project already here as you can see i have already created a project let's say new and i will put it as rename it let it go once and come back again and i will rename it as for loop counter delete delete and uh, yes and just I will bring the go to the toolbox and here is a for, for each loop counter the first one I want I'm going to delete a data monthly by monthly and then I will loop through every month each month and then I will loop through the year but because the year is bigger it will come outside and the month being smaller is a prob it's a part of the year so it comes inside so let's say for year loop container for year description and I will say it for name for month and I'll just say okay before we go through I will also drag in this is the first would be the year loop and the other would be the month loop as you can see and I have to define the variables so what variables I have to define as you can see what I was saying was that As you can see that this will this will get executed first this get executed first then this get executed but this goes into the loop till it gets finished and then once the loop is done then again then it after finishing the loop it goes back here so this is what will happen first this will get executed at here and this label then it goes to this label this goes into the loop once the loop finishes it comes out it comes out again you are back to the same thing here and you would be here so this is what actually what will be happening so before we go to that thing let's use the let's use the variables I will define the variables the, I have already the variables here I will just give it to the month counter copy it this is the scope of the variable so first I will go for the year counter because I am going to define the year counter however the scope has to be the as you can see I am going to define the variables go to the variables I have to click here and then define the variables so that the variable that has the scope of that loop counter and the value is defined as 0 and then I will define the year begin counter I am going to process only for few years in this case because I have the only the data for the few years only so I will have this data and you can see I am going to put the value 1996 because the 1996 is the beginning of the year in the data 
in the table and I'm going to put, create one more variable as you can see and it is going to be the year counter year end and this is I'm going to create the scope is remaining the same 1998 and I'll just put it like that and for the loop counter monthly counter I will just go again and I'll say one counter new variable to things make things easier I'm not going to define the begin and the end for the month and one more thing I would like to do is just I've defined the variables now I will drag in the execute SQL task once I drag in the SQL task now it is okay something is wrong there collections oh this is the wrong type of loop I've dragged in sorry about it uh, and once again I have to do that thing for loop counter here again I have to define the month variable so that's good enough and say new and you can see it that's done and now I can drag the execute SQL task that being done I will start to initialize the variable let's say the year begin the counter copy it year counter let's say the year counter is 0 copy we initialize the expression with the year counter year counter equals to year begin counter because this is what we want to year to begin with tall v then I will evaluate the expiration to the year counter less than again I go here just to avoid the typographical mistake and make things easier I'm just copying and pasting it and less than equals to uh, year end copy it and paste it and then I'm going to say the last thing copy paste on the year counter equals to one so this is what I'm going to do I'm initializing the expression this is the beginning and I will go up to this thing because 96 97 98 and that's would be the ending of it and as you can see here encounter ah Oh, year counter. That's wrong. I think this should be perfect. Fail to lock the year counter for read only access error. Ah. Let's see, year counter has been defined. You can see it here. Year counter, year counter equals year begin counter, and year counter equals year end counter, year counter equals year counter 1. Now, here is giving an error for the loop for each one failed to lock the variable year counter for read and write. The variable cannot be found. Year counter cannot be found. Okay. Let's go and check it out. Which ah, if there's a problem, maybe here. Let's see which one is a problem. 
uh, year counter is not there. Year begin counter, year end counter. Oh, okay. Year counter is there. Year counter, and you can see the variables is initialized. Counter equals to. Year counter equals to year begin counter, year counter less than equals to year end counter, year counter equals to year counter 1 plus 1. So it is having a problem. Let's wait once again and see where the problem lies. Yeah. Because it is case sensitive, it creates a problem. Otherwise, it should be okay. Ah, again, there is a problem with the year begin. Let's say we do it once more. Okay, here is the error. Click OK and this has been set now take it for this instance and I will go and I will save one counter initialize the expression one counter equals to 0 or equals to 1 and the one counter less than equals to 12 because we know we have 12 months in each year and equals to plus 1 and there we are done click OK and we'll execute the task how do we execute it now? just we have have been corrected this will connected the created the OLEV connection DB connection I will just connect it in this case it is family click ok let's check it again from the data is coming from the family dbo dot orders so far so good now what is the magic the magic is that we just want to delete it just paste the statement making it easier for you to understand now it says delete from orders via year on the ship equals to question mark that question mark is the parameter zero that would be taking up picking up from the our variable we defined okay the variable the year counter would be the variable that will jump up here and the month ship date equals to again the month counter would be coming here in the ship date so what will happen is that this parameter this is parameter 0 this is parameter 1 so this will take pick it up but we have not defined the parameter yet so we go and define the parameter as you can see add okay what happens the connection is empty yes we have not connected it yes we connect it our connection and rest being the same we will just go and add and just will take it from the year counter and the parameter I will only change the name number to 0 and you can see I have this parameter mapping to the month counter parameter oh this is wrong 
I have to use the ear counter here and it is how it is going to be the ear counter would be mapping to the 0 and the month counter would be mapping to the 1 so I have to add one more I will just go and add one counter and I will map it just to the parameter 1 that's it and we are really set to go and if you see now we have the data okay as you can see I will execute it again no problems at all you can see the data is still there now I will just try to execute this package and let's see if it works and you can see it is done and let's go and check out the data if it exists now you can see all the ship data for every month has been gone and only the ship data that is for the null remains that is was how to use the for loop that's all I hope you would be it would be helpful to you that's all thank you very much for watching bye